What up, peeps? It's your girl, Josh. Come back to you for all takes. Uh, today, I'll be doing a reaction to what looks like to be um, a Daredevil Netflix date announcement. This one's rather short, too, like under a minute. Similar to the one I watched, it was really a short teaser. I'm curious to see what this is about, and I'm glad we're going to finally know when this is actually coming out. So you know what? Let me just go ahead and jump right into you guys. I'll see my rant at the end. find a way to come back even stronger. There's only one true way to end the evil. Uh -huh. To finish it for good. Uh -huh. Let the devil out. All right, you guys, I really enjoyed this one because now we have a date, October 19th, and I'm just curious now about the overall storyline. We get these little subliminal messages from her first, you know, he's confessing how he feels, you know, he doesn't want to live his life the certain way he was living as Matt Murdock. He definitely kind of looks like he's just done. He's done with dealing with this, the Matt Murdock, the, the moral compass, so to speak. And then with this one, he says he wants to rid the evil once and for all, whichever. And now he wants to let the devil out. I don't know what's going on with him, but we're going to definitely see. We saw little snippets, you know, in between um, his, you know, hearing his voice kind of break down how he truly feels about dealing with this stuff. You know, and I'm also wondering if that's the case, are we looking at having another season after this one, whichever, if they're trying to read, you know, he wants to read the evil once and for all. Okay. So also will we definitely see Karen and Foggy. I'm hoping they're coming back. I figure they most like, especially because he definitely has unfinished business with Karen. And then secondly, Foggy. You know, I loved watching him on, you know, Luke Cage, you know, this past season. So I'm glad to see, you know, he's showing up. And same thing with Karen being on the first season of Punisher. Looking forward to that. But then I'm wondering because she does have feelings for him. I wonder because now she found out, of course, who he was, whatever, and the way it was left. You know, she's thinking he's dead, whatever. They have not located him. So we don't know where he ended up with. He was laying on a bed. He was just knocked out. So hopefully we're going to get all that back to what's happened to him if he finally gets in contact with them. Um, you know, and then just see how, where it's going to go from there. You know, I don't know anybody else is going to be coming back in regards to the season, whichever. I just want to be surprised. I'm not going to pull up anything on IMDb. I'm just going to just wait and see how this season turns out. But I'm excited because now it's finally back. Because after knowing Iron Fist came back, and of course, earlier in the year, we saw Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. So I was like, it's fitting to know when is Daredevil coming back. I kept thinking it might be next year, like January, but I'm glad it's going to be before the end of the year. So that's actually awesome. So yeah, Iron Fist already came out. I'm ready for Daredevil. No offense to him. But yes, this is the one I've been waiting for because of the way it ended, it was just done so well the last season. So, but with that said, you guys, um, comment below. Let me know what you all think. You know, what are you all looking forward to in this season to see what's going to happen with Matt Murdock? And with that said, I will see you guys on the next reaction. You guys take care.